Hi everybody, I'm back with my second fuel mileage test. Uh, you might remember from my earlier videos, my first fuel mileage test. Uh, we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison where I drove the same route twice with and without HHO. Got 11% increase. At that point, I was my uh, HHO generator was producing about 2 liters a minute. And I decided that was not enough. Not enough gas. Uh, a lot of people encouraged me to immediately do a map sensor te modification. I decided not to yet. Um, on this truck, uh, there's no feedback loop from an oxygen sensor. There's nothing in there in the, to do that. You have two inputs to the computer that control the amount of fuel the engine gets. One is the throttle position sensor, which is basically just your foot. You now you're pushing on the gas pedal. And the other is the manifold absolute pressure, which senses the amount of turbo boost. In a gasoline car, it would be vacuum, but in this one, if it's a turbocharged car, it would be positive pressure as well, but in this one, it's positive pressure. So, I didn't think I could come up with a map sensor mod, at least I couldn't find one yet, that would give me a, an across-the-board modification that would give me the correct amount of leaning of the fuel mixture all the way from idle to full throttle. Uh, I was afraid that it wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't get a good mix all the way, so I decided to do uh, more, just add more HHO. Well, I thought I'd, first I was going to just tear the one in there that I, I just put it in, spent countless hours building the darn thing, tear it out, put a bigger one in. But then I thought, well, if I increase the electrolyte, I can get more production out of it and see if the more production counts towards more miles per gallon. So, I uh, did a bench test on it while it was still in the truck. I unhooked it from the truck battery, hooked up a, a big, um, uh, like a trolling motor battery to it with a charger, and started running it. Uh, my idea was to get it up to operating temperature, and then start adding electrolyte until it uh, maxed out, where I couldn't get it to go any higher without melting something. But with the, it turned out with just that trolling motor battery, uh, it wasn't enough juice to get it up to full temperature. Um, it was taking quite a while, so I drained out the electrolyte, took it in on the stove, let the other battery charge for a while, heated up the electrolyte to 150 degrees C, which is about 66, uh, 66 degrees C, which is 150 degrees F. Brought it back out, poured it in the uh, reservoir, started the thing back up again. By the time I managed to work the air out of the electrolyzer, uh, it had dropped down to around 55 degrees C. Um, at that point, I started adding more electrolyte to it. I added, it started out with two, uh, two teaspoons of sodium hydroxide per gallon. I increased that to eight teaspoons per gallon gradually. Um, the temperature slowly rose, it was sitting, no wind moving around, so the temperature slowly rose on the electrolyzer to about 57 degrees C. Um, but I couldn't get it to pull more than 48 amps. Right, that yeah, was 48 amps, which didn't make any sense to me because I'd added so much electrolyte. Uh, so I decided to test it at that amount anyway. I was getting uh, pretty close to three liters a minute um, at that amperage draw. Now, it, maybe it was a little bit higher amps than that, but I'm pretty sure it was close to 50 amps. But anyway, so I tested it and I was getting 3.3 .3 liters a minute. Um, and so I decided while it was hot, still at 57 degrees C, I would do a, a mileage test unhooked the trolling motor battery, hooked it back up to the truck, took off to the gas station. It was dark by this point, so there's no video. I topped it off just like I did in the earlier videos, reset everything, took off and did that same circuit uh, from my earlier video test. Got back to the fuel station, topped it off again, and uh, I achieved uh, an 18.9% increase. The first, the mileage without HHO is 14.92, or was, and with this increased HHO amount, I got 17.74 miles per gallon. So that's an 18.9% increase. Previously it was 11. So, and this is a stock truck. I didn't change any map sensors or anything. The uh, only change was I went from 2 liters of HHO to about 3.3. And I should say, though, uh, when I was bench testing the thing, I couldn't get it up to very many amps. As soon as I started the truck and took off, the amps immediately spiked up to 66 amps. No, 64 amps. It spiked up to 64 amps, and the temperature at this point was around 57 degrees C. Um, 
But by the time I finished driving 20 miles, the amperage had dropped to uh, 57 amps, and uh, the temperature had dropped to 52 degrees C. So actually for about the second half of the test, the temperature had dropped quite a bit. And um, for at least maybe a little bit more than half the test, the amperage draw was in the 56 to 58 range. Um, so I might have been getting more than 3.3 liters, but it's sort of hard to stop the truck and you know do a flow test while you're driving. But anyway, I got that 19.9% increase just by adding HHO, uh, increasing it. I'm not sure where the upper threshold is yet. Uh, I haven't installed an, an exhaust gas uh, temperature get meter yet, a pyrometer. I intend to do that. I don't want to burn anything up. Uh, but I'm still thinking there's room for more HHO. The question is how to get it. And as soon as I figure out how to crank that HHO level up more, I'll get back with more fuel mileage tests. Now I do have another fuel mileage test that will be coming up um, early September. Uh, sometime before then I'm going to make a trip to Florida. It's a thousand miles round trip, all highway driving, so I'll have highway driving HHO uh, results to give you. Signing off for now.